Hello and welcome to Dragon Roll TV. My name is Demix and this is Total War Warhammer 2. Here we are again playing the Carrot Cadring campaign and this is episode 8 I believe. I can't, you know what, I should really check the episodes before I start playing but I'm pretty sure I'm getting them right so far so maybe I'm okay. Um, so last time we had just raised Mount Squighorn hoping that the dwarves will take it back and then we're heading back north. I can't remember why we're heading back north. I think we're heading back to fight the, dwar uh, the vampires. Um... Because going south is a bit of a stretch when the dwarfs are already here. And they're doing fine. We've got Barry Far here as well. Um, hopefully they'll confederate together. We will we'll want to confederate with these guys later on. But I think the pushback that we provided for them has been enough for them to uh, to hold the ground for now. So I think that's why we're heading back north. To try and take on the vampires instead. Get another gold mine. Um, so I didn't realize I had a level on this guy. I think we'll just take another rune. And I'll give him the rune of striking. I don't see the point of having a charge bonus on a runesmith. Um, but there we are. Okay. In fact, I don't think I was heading back. I'm just trying to remember where I was. So it's been a few days since I recorded. Um, which I apologize for. Real life stuff getting in the way as always. Blooming work. Who needs it? But there we are. Um, I think I was just moving here to heal and get the replenishment. I think that's why I moved here actually. Um, because we could take Black Crag. Yes, that was the plan. We're pl going to try and take Black Crag, I think. But then to do that without siege equipment is going to be a nightmare. So maybe I was thinking, thinking, maybe I was being stupid last time. So you know what? What the plan is? We're going to go fight Castle Drakenhof because they're getting way too powerful with that gold mine, and that's a lovely gold mine right on our doorstep that we can take relatively easily. This so we're going to head back. So move him here. Um, is there anything we can build? We can build in Nashrax Lair. And we have resources to build. We need the growth building still. Public order? Sure, might as well. Karakungor? Nothing we can build yet. A couple of turns, but it's getting there. We're doing, we're doing really, really well. It must be noted. It's going fine. Relatively safe starting position for the Karak Kadron though, right? With a lot of our... Great cities are, are protected just by the terrain and the geography of it, so there is that. Oh, it feels good to be recording again, though. It's, you know when you take a few days off and you're just like, oh, thank God I'm back to doing what I like. <laughs> How dare you darken my hall, Uzkala. Uzkala, what do you want? Oh, he's, he's declaring war. I'm not going to call Zufbar to help because I don't want to get him in any more wars. But, oh, he's already in it. I think he was already in it there, if I just seen that at the last second. Well, hopefully Zifbar put up a good fight. They almost always lose, but there has been a new patch that's completely flipped the AI on its head. Now, it did happen after I started recording this, so I don't know if those effects will be in effect now. Um, you know, but I'm sure we'll see soon enough. Military alliance with the dwarfs always... I'm going to start getting military alliances with them all and start becoming good friends with them so we can get the confederations early. I didn't think Barrick Far liked us that much. I don't think I'd had any interaction with them up till now. Are the dwarfs ever going to take Mount Squighorn? I mean, that's that's as easy as it gets, right? <laughs> Greenskins confederated with bloody hands. The Scabby are destroyed. Excellent. And Zufbar are in serious trouble. Okay, Zufbar are in serious, serious trouble. Um, I am the slave can hop across king. here. I would, but I can't, so I shan't. Um, so we're going to go here so that we can hop across to the maximum extent. Oh, I might just let them get wiped out here, you know. Might not even be a bad idea. Can't recruit anything here at Mount Goonbad. I grow restless. So I think I'll move here. Fifty percent. The Slayer throng moves. And then go into this stance to try and increase our replenishment. Does that have any effect? Yeah, it does. To get even more replenishment, then we'll hop across here next turn. And uh, oh, they want to join Confederation already, so it could even be worth doing. I'll tell you, what, I'm much more likely to hold Zufbar than they are. That's for sure. So maybe I should just do it now. 
But next turn, we're going to get 15 plus 12 plus 6 against us, and I don't want that grudge. So... I would have done it if it was someone else, but because we will almost assuredly lose, and that'll put another grudge in the book that I just don't want. Oh, but then we could take Grand Peak. Grand Peak would be ours. And that rounds out this. Oh, wow, and it has a Gunsmith's Forge level 3, which would be really nice, because then we could get... Um, you know what? I'm going to take that confederation. I'm going to take that confederation, we're going to hop across, and we'll, we'll invade from Grand Peak. Public order minus eight. Can I even afford to do this? <laughs> minus 72. Nash Rex Slayer. I'm going to upgrade that, sure. Um, minus eight for... It's for a few turns as well. So I'll be back to minus three at Karak Ungor. So I can't actually do this. That's a lot of... That's a massive penalty, right? Let's just look at this again. Let's hear what you have to say. Minus eight for five turns. So we can't do it right now. Simple as that. Um, so we'll stick to the original plan, but I will I will confederate as soon as possible. Um, so that the question is, do we go up to Waldenoff and Eshin, or do we go this way? And I'm really not sure. I'm really undecided. Let's pass our turn. After I just check diplomacy quickly to see if there's anyone else who wants to trade. Welcome. Surely. Nope. Okay. Let's pass our turn there. I'm afraid Zufbar are being left to their own devices. It's not going to be a fun time for them. But it's their own fault. I mean, you're next to Castle Drakenhof and you don't build a wall. I mean, what's that about? You've really got no one to blame but yourself in that instance. Military alliance between Manfred and the von Karstein family. Ooh, that's good for us. Look at that. Loads of people declaring war on the vampires and Hochland being their trademark aggressive selves and declaring wars on their neighboring humans. Very interesting. <laughs> okay, Temple Hopper destroyed. That's always good news for us. We're getting a bit more income from our gold mines. That's also good news. They didn't lose Zifbar this turn. Okay. Well, let's jump over here. Indeed, we're going to head down and support them this way. So we're going to head down here, um, come through Zufbar, and probably just attack Drakenhof straight on. Let's see what they're looking like. That is a tough, tough garrison there. Part of me is wondering if I could afford another army. How much is this costing me? 3,600. If I was to get another, not only would it be costing 900 plus 300 just for the extra upkeep, so I definitely can't afford another one. That's for damn sure. Um, okay, the new patch is definitely in play because underway lookouts there. So the new patch was just retroactively put into my game, which I'm fine with. <laughs> That's fine. <clears throat> um, Toolmaker wouldn't be a bad idea just to get some more gold. And a gate's always a good idea, of course. You know what? We're going to go Toolmaker. We really need to start getting a, working towards getting a second army. I still can't believe the dwarves aren't taking that. I'm really scared of what <laughs> of what I'm thinking of doing, but at the same time, I feel like it's it's got to be done. They are so strong, but we got to do something, right? We got to help our brothers here. But there'll definitely be some cheese tactics required. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Some corner camping or some... Uh, I don't know how we'll take Drakenhof. I honestly have no idea.
Oh no! They confederated with the dwarfs! That's the worst outcome! That's terrible for us! Because now they're not at war with them either. That sucks. <laughs> Should have taken it. It's my own fault. Should have taken the uh, the confederation when it was there. Okay, well, we're still at war with uh, Swatch Happen. So we're going to move down there and move to take him out. Because we're not actually at war with Manfred. We're only at war with, uh, with Von Karstein. We've actually still got a peace treaty in place with Manfred. So... Um, we couldn't have attacked him anyway, straight away. At least I don't think. I don't think it's been 10 turns since we had peace with him, but I could be wrong. Either way, it would be nice to take out the vampires one at a time, that's for sure. Ungram Iron Fist. Oh, wow, awesome. Oh, it cost 1,500 gold, though. Not awesome. I'd rather have had the gold. For the wisdom of Valea. I must fulfill my slayer oath. Can march further? We can march further. So let's march. Oh, that's vampire land, though. Blue and vampires. We'll still go further if we go like this. And we've moved to Zufbar, which is our quest. We need to assassinate anyone belonging to the undead. What do you see? Easier said than done, the usually. What's the chance? 66% actually, so let's give that a go. Let's send him forward, try and get him to do it next turn. And we're, then he'll get him to rejoin Ungram after that. Let's upgrade these. Definitely upgrade these. Public order is really getting good now. So we'll go for the growth instead, because we want to get to level 4 and level 5 as quickly as possible. Mount Gumbad, how are you doing? Going to have a rebellion in two turns. I'm quite alright with that. Dwarf holds are the absolute best, and there's no danger of an orc rebellion posing as any real threat. Now, you should surely trade with us now. Come on. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I am really feeling... Intimidated by the vampires now. <laughs> I think I made a good decision to come back up north. I don't think we'll lose Mount Gunbad, even if the Greenskins come north, unless they send something particularly scary. Uh, hopefully they don't. In any case, I'm going to upgrade their walls as soon as I can. I might try and see if the dwarves will join me in this war here. But they do have enough of their own problems down south. Oh, look at this. They've taken Iron Rock. That's great. And... Barak Var have taken Doc Karaz. So that little help we took, because we wiped out two of their armies, I think. So although it seemed small and it was in a different location, you know, it took out two armies and allowed them to sort of press their advantage in other locations. So it's really helped the dwarfs out there. So that is good news, because nothing worse than the Greenskins taking over everything. Although, we still have all this. <clears throat> have they taken... Uh... They've not taken Mount Squakehorn yet. No one's taken Mount Squakehorn still. Don't know why. I thought that was a no-brainer, but clearly not. <laughs> rebellion and re the uh, repeats, no problem. Leadership, no, we'll definitely have the leadership. King. And then we're going to have to trespass on Manfred's lands. It doesn't really matter. He already despises us, so what difference does it make? Let's try and have you... Oh, why did it go down so much? Last turn, it was way higher. Oh well, we'll try it anyway. Fail. 65% before. That would have been a lot better. I was hoping we'd still get it there, not going to lie. <laughs> I was really hopeful we could just get it so it was done. He's probably going to get himself killed now. The rebellion grudge has been issued. The rebellion grudge. Greetings. You know Delta... Hello, yes, yes, let's start really becoming friends with him. He's strength rank 2, so this, this could work out well for us, actually. 
I don't mind so much. Oh, I really want to confederate early now. Like we did in our high elf campaign. But I don't mind if the dwarfs do it first. If they take Bargvar, if they take Zufbar, that's fine. And then we'll just do it in one big confederation after that. But the chances of them confederating anytime soon, given how weak we are currently, is probably quite low. Oh dear, the vampires have united against us. I mean, it was bound to happen, but it had to happen on this turn. Not so good. <laughs> Not so good. Looks like they're not attacking us, though. I could wipe out his army at, at Oakenhammer. Let's see if the dwarves will join us in this war. Because, of course, because they united against us, the dwarves, even though we had a defensive alliance just there, they, we still don't get it. <laughs> we still, they still don't join us, which is really annoying. Oh, growth. I'd rather have the growth. I'm really smashing our public order now, though. Rebellion at group peaks, that's fine. Public order is minus five. How many turns is this for? Four. And three. Should be okay. We'll build this first, just in case, though. Even in our hometown, it's also bad. Right. Come on, you. Let's see it. 38%. 46. Yes! Nice. The Slayer Crown. Terrified Sylvanian peasant who laid witness the passing of a hideous army on dead as it rode towards blah 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 blah. What, what are you saying? Uh, let's march. Well, we're already south, so let's march south. We have any character to work bad. That's not too bad. That's not too work bad. <laughs> <laughs> so Good job. You you need to get back in our army though. Uh, so let's put you over here. Let's get that final rune. Um, can you reach this? No, definite, definitely not. What we can do is do that. And then will we take character Omar? It's not going to be worth much to sack. But I can't hold it either. But part of me feels like it's a good place to just get some replenishment. Move into Schwartz half and take that. You know, just start really causing that. Even if we can't take, hold it. It'll still disrupt them a lot. But then so we'll just sacking it. I think we'll take it because vampire corrupt vampire corruption, right? So even if we can't hold it and we lose it to rebellions, I don't mind. As long as we take it from them. No, that's that's my thinking. And I'm sticking to it. Let's see what Ostermark say today. I really need this trade. Come on, man. Is there anything else we could do? Nope. He's killing me over here. What are they getting? Wolf, right? Yep, goblins, perfect. I mean, keep the goblins coming. I don't care at all about goblins. Um, Toolmaker's Workshop. If we can build it. Yeah, I don't know where we got that gold from. Oh, yeah, from completing the quest. That's it. Level 3 Die Maker. Very nice. Oh, we've only got 11. I just realized we only have an 11 man garrison in Karak Kadron. That's really scary. That's really scary. I, th I, I remember thinking it was more than that. Okay, I'm a little bit nervous now. Um, I wish I'd fought Oakenhammer. Ask another. Oh dear. Fundamental mistakes coming out here. <laughs> I might um, I might recruit a lord and sacrifice some income here. Because that is really, really scary. And Manfred's missing. I can't see Manfred. Which means he's probably not far away. Yes! That's great! Come on, the dwarves! Hell yeah! <laughs> Watch, they'll just they'll just lose everything, right? They're not gonna it's not gonna make a big difference. Oh dear, well at least they're fighting here. I really wish Zufbar was mine now, because I could just be camped out in it and get let their armies come to us, because they'll siege us, and we'd undoubtedly win the siege battle, and then I could have just, from there, just destroyed everything. 
but it's fine. Okay, I'm definitely going to take Karak Dromar. It gives them something to... Uh... Oh god, we lost Garam Deanson. That's a big loss. That's a big loss. I mean, it was worth it, kind of, for the... Uh... For the quest, but I still obviously would rather we didn't lose him. It's so expensive. It is so expensive at this point. <clears throat> I need Mount Gunbad to level up as soon as possible. Next turn. Okay, let's not spend any money because next turn it can level up. Ah, uh, to die in battle. Drink. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm loath to auto resolve this. I really am because it's going to take units off me that, that I just, I won't lose any units if I, you know, if I manual fight it. But thirty-three. That's okay. That's that's reasonable actually. Uh, let's. Let's uh, sack then occupy. Sack then occupy, right? Because if we loot and occupy, we get far less. I don't care about the actual building. There we go, occupy. So that gives us another two and a half thousand gold. So that's nice. Um, what do we want to give? I think I might go for this because these guys are going to prove by far our greatest rivals. So we're going to go for this one. 15% against vampires. I'm willing to make it that choice now because it might not be a long war, but this is definitely going to be the most challenging war. Once we get to the point of fighting the greenskins, we're going to be in such a good place that it won't matter. Whereas that extra... That extra 15% could really help. What can we build here? I'm not going to bother repairing this. It'll almost certainly rebel, and that is no problem. Okay. What do you want? You really need to get some troops, dude. <laughs> and so do I. So do I. Okay, next turn. Upgrading Mount Gunbad. Great. I hope that uh, wounding of Garim didn't take his items away. I don't think it does. I think that only happens if you get defeated in battle, but still. I, I, I never have actually checked that, ever. So, we'll find out soon enough. I'm definitely going to move down and attack Schwarzhafen. That's next on the list. Just try and wipe out the Von Karsteins if we can. The Underway is such a big advantage for the Dwarfs, you know, so I can move into their lands. Because if you can imagine not having the Underway to move into that land there, you would be take, taking attrition for that turn. And that's a big deal. Especially when you've got Dwarfs. But instead we can just Underway across. And then take no attrition in the Underway. And everything is good. I wonder if they have a, a, a castle on Schwarzhafen or what the garrison's like. Let's see. Seven. No, it's weak. Is anyone here? They haven't got anyone defending it either. They have got a military presence in the moot, though. So what we'll do... Why can't we see this anymore? We have a military alliance, don't we? No, please. I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that if we get the military alliance. Yes. Okay, cool. I'm fine with that. I just want to be able to see what's going on. Because if they'd moved around here, for example, I was like, you know, this would be the most, the worst move ever. But they're still here, so that's fine. So. The slayer in me seeks death. Let's go here. Now, I don't mind. So I just want to get across this river. Right there. I am the Slayer King. Cool, so Isabella's there. I can kill her. She's probably going to move to Schwarzhafen to defend it, but either, even if she does, I'll still kill her. And that's awesome if she does, because we want that regeneration buff for defeating Isabella. It's an awesome buff. Let's upgrade Mount Gunbag. Bad. Gunbag? Gunbad. I think we get two slots at level three, do we? No, we don't. No, we don't. That's just one more slot, so... Still, we'll build the gold mine, and that'll still be a massive increase, because level 3 gold mine is another 1,200 per turn. So after that, I'm pretty sure I can support 
another army. Um, I'm so nervous for Kar Kadron, but I can see all their armies here right now, so it's I making me confident that I don't need to build an army yet. But I just need to keep an eye on it because it's such a precarious situation. If they decide to go and march on Karak Kadron instead, we will be in serious trouble. Um, let's pass our turn here again. So, Swartz happen in our sights. Let's see what they do to respond. And Karak Dromar, two turns into a rebellion. No surprises. <laughs> All I'm hoping is that the, the rebellion that comes out of it is grey vampires, right? That's if, As long as it's grey vampires, that's fine. Or even Zufbar. Zufbar would be awesome. Oh, no, it wouldn't, because then they'd be at war with us. I would hate that. We'll see what happens. If it's... if it's, uh, I don't want it to be Zufbar, actually, because then, although that would be cool if the dwarf faction re-emerged, the bad part would be... Oh, okay. He's gone to Castle Templehof. He's in Ashen. There we go. Right, okay. Bad news. Oh, hello. In the underway. Okay. Oh, look at that though. No, this should be this should be okay. I'm feeling confident about this, especially in the underway. And we get two legendary lords in one. I'm so glad I took that weapon strength buff. The only thing I'm going to be sad about is the fact that uh, we don't have Garim, and that's a big deal. So we need to take out the lords, like seriously quickly no luck with them just coming in at a weird spot unfortunately <laughs> um, let's make them fight up the hill as well that seems to make sense to me makes us very thin though it makes us incredibly thin Part of me would much rather just go to the corner. Because we have to win this. There is, like, no choice. Oh, I hate spreading my ranks thin. No, I, I've corner camped enough. I don't want to corner camp. If we lose, we lose. <laughs> he says as he's missing his runesmith and oh no I can't risk it I can't risk it I'm sorry I hate it but I've got to you know what I mean it's that thing where you know you have to if I lose this we are so screwed like so many levels of screwed it doesn't even bear thinking about alright let's get the archers over here I'm going to have two lines of archers, line there, and a line here further back. So if they're flying units come over the top, then the other one, the one line can support the other. And then we'll have the warriors, we'll have five in the front, like this, and three on the side. Classic dwarf formation. <laughs> Absolutely classic dwarf formation here. Nothing fancy. There we go. Right, let's make sure that they're spread out quite nicely. And Ungram is front and center. Need to make sure we're in range to use this. This thing's awesome. So it's all about taking out their key units. The skeletons don't really matter. Their morale and their attack is just so weak. The dwarves will hold forever against them. We just need to make sure we take out the Vargulfs, the Blood Knights. Um, the Vargulfs? The Vargeist. I don't think he has a Vargulf. And then, of course, Isabella and Manfred. We have to stop Isabella and Manfred and make sure that we kill them. Because that will give Ungram regeneration. I don't know what Manfred... Uh, Man not Manfred. Um, oh, I don't know his name. How insulting. Is it Victor? Is it Victor von Karstein? <laughs> I don't know, I'm sorry. Um, I honestly can't remember. It's bugging me. It's not like I've even played campaigns as the von Karsteins.
the dwarfs unfazed. Let's put some archers facing this way as well. Ready to hold the line to the last. Which they just might have to. Are they going to come up this hill anytime soon? We'll probably just see them as they break over the crest here. Oh, look at that. It's a lovely... Oh, here they come. Some Vargeists. Struggling up the hill. The AI always seems to have a problem with this middle section. Once they get up, they'll be fine. They are coming. Just slowly. Here they come. Right. Let's make sure these guys are on guard mode. Also, I don't really want to waste ammo on the skeletons. But I don't mind giving them a couple of volleys either. Just to soften them up a bit. Especially if there's high value targets. Just think I don't want to take them a fire at will because I want to maximize how many kills we get in general, but at the same time I don't want to use too much, waste too much ammo, you know what I mean? So there's a bit of a bit of a paradox there. Right. Are you hitting something? Definitely hit something there if you can. Right, watch this flanking move. Right, it's quite important that we kill these flying units, so definitely switch to the Vargeists, please. Switch to the Vargeists. The Vargeists are way stronger. I couldn't care less about the bats, they'll die in three seconds. We have got our slayers here positioned among the archers, so if, the, if those Vargeists land, they'll get cut to pieces. Uh, fire on the bats. Bats far more important. Good stuff, that's the first one down. Vargeists, please. Vargeists, if they're gonna stand and let us kill them, we're definitely gonna take our take what we can. No reason not to. They have wronged us. Here they come. Let's get the Slayer King in here. Vlad von Karstein. How could I forget? Jesus. Okay, let's get the uh, Slayers in here to support them. Kill these Vargeists. We got another group of Slayers just in case. Taking them out, taking them out. Awesome. Awesome. Destroy them. Yeah, you're doing nothing here. You're doing nothing. Doing a lot here, though. Okay, we've done a good job here. Let's fire. I'm not even kidding. Fire on Vlad. Uh. We've got Blood Knights here. Let's move these guys back. Um, should we fire on Vlad here? I don't know. Maybe fire on the Blood Knights first. Let's fire on these Blood Knights. They're too strong. I don't want them around for too long. Right, kill Isabella, please. Manfred. These slayers need to get on the uh, the Vargeists. Slayers. Vargeists. They're really hurting us. Okay, just in here, please. Come on. Let's kill some lords, please. No excuse for it. Go here. Fill this gap. Where is Ungram? Doing a good job of killing one of them there. How are doing over here? Okay, we're really, really softening them up over here. That's fine. Let's just move you guys here. Just make sure that gap is plugged. How's Ungram doing? Right, kill Vlad. Everyone on Vlad. Look at him. He's right there. That's such an easy kill. Hey, 
Okay, hang on. I need to finish these Vargas off first. Okay, I think he finished off that mage there. Let's kill these Vargeists. And then, okay, awesome. Everyone on Vlad. Who is very tough because he's got Isabel next to him as well. But hopefully... Look at that! One hit from Ungrim. Come on! Let's get it! Take him out! Perfect, perfect. Beat him up! I don't care how strong he is. You take him down. Come on. Don't pull out. <laughs> oh, no, that's bad because they're going to swarm into the freaking archers now. Come on, finish him, finish him. Finish him. Come on. There we go, good job. Okay, we need to soften up this bit here because otherwise they're going to pass through and attack our, uh, attack our archers. So let's just annihilate this area with what we have left. Let's get the slayers in here. Oh, it's going well. We need to shoot Isabella. She is not getting away. She can't get away. She can't get away. It's so important that she doesn't get away. Come on. Oh, of course she won't. She'll disintegrate. Perfect. Good victory. Great, great, heroic victory indeed for the Dowie. Awesome. Really, really good. That went way better than I expected it to. Okay, we get regeneration and we get uh, whatever Vlad gives, I guess. Hopefully something nice. Ungram Iron Fist with regeneration. Now it's on. <laughs> okay, let's re execute the captives. I can't deal with the casualty replenishment rate right now, so I will take the leadership. Cruelty restrained and wound recovery time minus four. So he, if he dies, he's back in one turn. That's pretty good. I'd, I'd probably prefer something else, but that's still pretty good. Vampire hunter, brave executioner. Very nice. Very, very nice. And that's Schwarzhafen defeated, right? That's the Von Karsteins out. We will be destroying them. No problem now. Ooh, they're moving to Siege Rank Gunbad. Here we go. That'll be a cool battle when it comes to it. Probably next next episode, because that is where I'm going to leave it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like and subscribe for more content, uh, which will be coming out very soon. I will see you in the next one. See you later.